Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to UCTV Overtime. I'm Ryan Culloway. And I'm Ethan Tremblay. Each week, we'll give you the latest in UC sports and let you know what games are coming up. On the first nice day of spring season, the women's lacrosse team kicked off with a tough battle against RIT Tigers. In the first period, Stephanie Husnay started the game scoring a point for UC just two minutes into the game. Junior Lexi Skacer scored three more points for UC, putting the Pioneers in the lead. RIT quickly followed, scoring three points by Elena Fallon. Lauren Wolf brought the Pioneers back with a goal, bringing UC goals to four. The Pioneers trailed close behind, leading into the second half. The goals were also made by Addison Green, Devin Ryan, and Kristen Creek. In the last five minutes of the game, Samantha DiCondo stole, stole the ball from RIT, netting a final goal for UC, making the score 9-17. to On Wednesday, the men's basketball team kicked off their season at Elmira College. The Pioneers ended up on top in this game, with the final score being 82-44. to Four of Utica's players had points in the double digits, with Kobe Lufkin and Justice Brantley leading the team in scoring with 12 points while coming off the bench. The Pioneers bench outscored Elmira's bench by 20 points. Overall, Utica secured this win with their ability to force turnovers and score. Last Friday kicked off the compelling season for track and field. Both men's and women's teams competed against members from Russell Sage College. The meet was scored on a 5-3-2-1 basis and UC won 16 events between two competitions. For the Women's League, Jane Fay started her career with an impressive 12.15 meters, setting the school record to a new all-time high. Gabriella DeSantis won her first event in her college career with the women's weight throw at 11.82 meters. For the jumping events, the Pioneers took home a win on all six events. Moving to the track, Laura Mead topped the women's table at 8.42 seconds. The, women's co the men's competition, sophomore Matthew Renault made a break in his collegiate career jumping 6.11 meters. For the high jump, sophomore Zarell Wright cleared the .85 meters. And to the track for the men, Dejean Richards sprinted the men's 60 at 54.16 seconds. On Friday, the Utica College women's ice hockey team made a comeback with a win over Wilkes University. The team won 9-1 with a career high of six goals from sophomore Maggie Ryloff. Utica took a 4-1 lead in the first period thanks to three goals in a span of 1 minute and 49 seconds. Utica added three more goals in the second period and ended the game with two more goals in the third. Last Friday, the men's basketball traveled to Kuei Park to play the Kuei Wolves. Sophomore Thomas Murray started off with two baskets, putting UC in the lead. UC Pioneers were never more than three points behind Kuwait, making it easy for them to plow ahead for the final score. The final score ended up being a pleasant 92 to 71 in favor of the Pioneers. The Pioneers used a good strategy to gain on Create College, and that was the key to their success. The team shot 47% from the field with Morgan shooting 66% in his own right. On Saturday, the women's tennis team took on the Cardinals of St. John Fisher College, hosting their first match at the Dome. It was a close match with the score being 4-5 St. John Fisher. In the first doubles match, Ellen Liga and Ellen Colley were quick to score their first point in doubles with the score being 8-3 in the Pro 8 match. Utica swept the first three singles matches with Morgan Willis winning third singles and both Ellen Liga and Ellen Colley won their respected match easily. Great job to Colley and Liga for their dominant performances. On Saturday, the men's soccer team took a loss in their home opener against St. John Fisher College. The Pioneers took an old early lead in the game with a goal scored in the seventh minute by Ramazani Juno, author header. The Cardinals tied the game in the second half in the 64th minute. Unfortunately, the Pioneers were not able to come back and win when St. John Fisher put another goal with just five minutes left in the game. Senior goalie Randy Mitch had a total of eight saves throughout the game. On Saturday, the UC women's lacrosse team faced off against Nazareth College in Rochester. 
The Pioneers fought hard game all the way to the end, but unfortunately were not able to bring home the win in a 9-13 loss to the Golden Flyers. The game was back and forth with goals coming from both sides. Senior Stephanie Husney was the Pioneers' leading scorer with three goals, and two of them assisted by junior Lexi Scatia. The women's lacrosse team will travel out to Rochester again this Wednesday to face off against St. John Fisher. The Saturday Women's Water Polo Tournament led for great hopes against Penn State. Emmy, excuse me, Emma Orbinson played an outstanding game, scoring three of the five UC goals. Both Rebecca Muriel and Kate Anderson netted the other two goals, making the ending score 13-5. The Utica College women's hockey team beat Wilkes University for the second time this weekend with a 5-2 win. Sophomore Maggie Ryla had another strong outing as she netted Utica's shorthanded goal and dished out two assists. Erica Sloan tabbed another multi-point game as she finished with one goal and two assists. Georgiana Santulo had a goal and an assist to add to her credit as well. Sophomore Morgan Lee netted a goal with 5-0-1 remaining in the second period and freshman Haley Modlin made the game-winning goal in the third period for her first collegiate goal. Yesterday, the men's basketball team went head-to-head -head against Alfred University. The game was an easy win for your Pioneers with the final score amounting to 89-57. to Freshman Damian Cole performed an amazing game, bringing down 12 rebounds, gaining 9 points and 5 assists. At the end of the first half, UC was up by 15 points, the score rating 44-29. to in the second half, the score got tight, with Alfred slowly catching up on the Pioneers. The Saxons only got to hold the lead for a little over a minute before UC quickly scored it back. In the Utica College women's soccer season opener on Sunday, the Pioneers downed Alfred University with a 2-0 win. The Pioneers opened the scoring in the 17th minute as senior Sydney Cook found the back of the net, giving Utica a 1-0 lead. The Pioneers added an insurance tally in the second half with Jacina Kaminsky adding their second goal. This will be another week full of UC games. On Wednesday, the men's lacrosse team will take on Castleton University on home turf at 4 p.m. The baseball team will be traveling to Ahura, New York to face Wells College. Their game is scheduled for 4 p.m. The women's lacrosse team has an away game at St. John Fisher College. Their game will also start at 4 p.m. The women's ice hockey team will, play, will be playing at Newman University. Puck drop is at 5 p.m. Women's soccer will be away on Wednesday at Russell Sage College. Their game is scheduled for 5 p.m. The final game for Wednesday will be the women's volleyball team against Russell Sage College at UC starting at 7 p.m. There is only one game on Thursday. The men's basketball team will be playing against St. John Fisher College. This is a home game and will begin at 5.30 p.m. On Friday, the women's track team has their Empire 8 Indoor Championship meet at Nazareth College. The time is to be determined. The men's soccer team will be away at Houghton College. Their game will begin at 5 p.m. The men's hockey team will resume their games this week. On Friday night, they have an away game at Nazareth College. Puck drop is at 7 p.m. Saturday is another jam-packed day for your pioneers. The men's track team will start the day off at 10 a.m. with their Empire 8 Indoor Championship meet at Nazareth College. The baseball team will be traveling again on Saturday to face Elmira College twice. Their games are scheduled for 12 and 2 p.m. Women's tennis will face Hartwick College at UC. Their match is scheduled for 12 p.m. The men's basketball team has a home game against Hatton College at 5.30 p.m. Women's Water Polo will be traveling to New London, Connecticut for two games against Connecticut College. They are scheduled for 1 and 4 p.m. Women's Lacrosse will face Oswego State on home turf at 1 p.m. Women's Hockey has a home game against Newman University. Puck drop is at 2.30 p.m. Men's Hockey will wrap up Saturday's games for UC. They will face Nazareth College on home ice. Puck drop is at 7 p.m. Sunday has a good amount of games that will wrap up the week for the Pioneers. Baseball team will head back to Elmira for another doubleheader on Sunday. Their games are scheduled for 12 and 2 p.m. Women's soccer will take on Nazareth College at home at 1 p.m. The women's volleyball team will be away at Alfred University. Their game will begin at 3 p.m. 
To wrap up this week's upcoming games, the men's lacrosse team will face Alfred University at home turf at 4 p.m. Good luck to all of those who have games this week. And that is going to wrap up today's showing of UCTV Overtime. And to be sure, make sure you watch the live stream of, on ucpioneers.com. I know I'll be watching. Thank you all for tuning in, and always remember to... Fear, Fear the Moose. moose.